Hey everyone, I'm Maria Cavasudo, and I'm sitting here with John Dahlbeck right before he takes over Avalon. And you're watching the Drop TV. Can you tell us a little bit about your latest single, Raven? Where were you when you wrote it and what inspired it? Um, I've been trying to think where I was, but I think I was. it was after a show somewhere that I did it. I'm always so inspired after after a show and music, and I think that's where I did it in, in a short amount of time. And then I played it the next day, and it was um, sounded great. And I wanted to sort of mix old school vibes with new school, and um, so the pianos and everything sounds very ravey and '90s, and the drop is very now. So you have Mutants Radio, your podcast, but you also are the one of the founding owners of Picadoll Records and Mutants Records. So for people who are a little bit unfamiliar with how the music industry works. How important is it for you to have such a strong, versatile, and independent brand? I mean, the Mutus Radio is, is great for me because I can show people what I what I play and, and the variety. Because I always play a bit of I play a bit softer in each radio show, and then I end it with more uh, big room stuff. And but the labels are different, like. Mutants, for example, we're focusing a lot by uh, with bringing new talents into it. Uh, like, for example, we do a new compilation soon, where it's 90% unsigned artists and um, you know people that's never had tracks out before. And I mean, which is awesome. Like, we ask people to send their SoundCloud links, and we sign we sign them off that. So it's very good. Where does that Picadoll Records name come from? Pick it all. It's like a old school gun. It's like um, it's one of those big, I don't know, pirate, piratey guns. Um, yeah, and so I focus a lot on guns um, when I named that one. And the last thing that I have for you is just to see what you're going to be doing after you know you stop touring, like you know later this year. Do you have any plans, or maybe even like taking a vacation? <laughs> well, I had a vacation for a couple of days. Um, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, it was nice. Uh, it's always weird. I I find vacations weird because I wanna, I want to make music, you know, every vacant hour. Um, and it's weird for me to just be on a beach for for weeks. Like I, I yeah, I freak out. But then um, I th I guess when this album is done. I just want to continue into the next one uh, because I like to be in that process of like, yeah, I'm going to do an album. Let's, I'm going to try this style and it never works out, but it's always fun to be in that creative stage. Again, thank you very much for sitting down to talk to us and we can't wait to see your show at Avalon tonight. Great.